and uh, next one is the document integration how the document flow happens between the erp system to ewm system and in case is embedded how it will be decentralized for example and i have taken inbound flow see inbound flow it starts from the purchase order then against the purchase order you need to create inbound delivery then the inbound delivery distributed to as a ewm as a inbound del delivery notification then inbound delivery then you perform all these activities you know that inbound means unloading put away even in between the consolidation value added service so on so you can do that but as a as a simple is inbound means unloading and put away but what is the embedded one since it is a single system so here is as, as you know the two boxes separate boxes only what they did in um, in s4 system is they removed additional document called inbound delivery notification that's only they did here so here also same thing you have to create a purchase order again is a inbound delivery inbound delivery distributed into ewm as inbound delivery and the only thing notification they remove it rest of the activities remains this is the inbound document flow see how you are going to linkage this inbound delivery in erp to ewm or within the s4 ana that's where you know how we can map the document types okay remember here two people are involved ewm here definitely mm guys sourcing and procurement or mm guys require purchasing all these things and ewm so always you know you interact with the ewm guy you interact with sorry you interact with the mm guys or sourcing and procurement guys okay to fulfill all the end to end scenarios another one if you are using a outbound flow okay outbound flow you know that always if it is a decentralized one it starts from the sales order because customer requests something it's uh, you need to create sales order again as sales order you create outbound delivery that outbound delivery distributed as a outbound delivery request so request then again as the delivery request you need to create as the outbound delivery order then what do you do in a, a outbound flow because of order all right you need to picking packing staging and loading so on so activities if you are using embedded only the document they removed is outbound delivery request here so i think so outbound delivery straight away distributed as a outbound delivery then you can call as outbound delivery order but may not be here outbound delivery order um maybe straight to come but it will be distributed as outbound delivery then you perform picking and packing activities okay this is a typical inbound outbound flow 